Hey guys, Naomi here. Thanks for hitting the play button. I wanna share with you an amazing keto bread recipe, right? So I went keto about a year and a half ago. It's changed my life. I also am gluten-free, so bread has literally become like a four-letter word in my house. So I was trying to figure out how do I get the wonderful aspects of bread in a form that can work for me and work for my family and work for you, and here it is. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375. We're gonna start with six large eggs, three at the beginning, three at the end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the egg whites from the yolk. So three now. You know, egg yolks are different all over the world. And we're always looking for the darkest and richest yellow because it shows you the quality of um, what the chicken was eating. And you can see these are really nice and dark. So I'm gonna start by putting all of the egg yolks in. Then I'm gonna put half of the egg whites in. Then I'm gonna put my grass-fed butter and ghee right in with the delicious egg yolks. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the creamy MCT. Go. Mm, yum. I will add a cup and a half of this amazing almond flour. So you're getting all of the good fats that are found in almonds. And that's really the base of this bread, which I think is incredible. And we're going to be adding a quarter cup of coconut flour. So again, you're getting more MCTs in here, but this is um, the coconut flour. So you're gonna add a quarter cup of that, pulse that in. I'm gonna add three teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three. Then we're gonna add one fourth teaspoon of garlic. And we're gonna use garlic powder in this case, but you can of course use fresh garlic. Rosemary, we'll use a fourth of a teaspoon of rosemary here. I'm a huge lover. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I love it so much. Next is a little pinch of salt. And you can use, you know, the Celtic sea salt, or you can use Himalayan salt. I, of course, always wanna put olives everywhere. And so we've got olives that we can add right in here too. And that's optional, right? You may not love olives as much as we do in our household, but they're there. And if you wanna add a little bit of sweetness to it, you can add a bit of monk fruit and you're not gonna go off your keto program. So I'm gonna put the rest of the three eggs in. I love how different the eggs really can be in different parts of the world. I think it's super cool. Uh, when I was in Kyoto recently and we had the, the really dark, almost red egg yolks, it was, it was phenomenal. So now I'm gonna take what we're gonna bake the amazing bread in, bring it over here. I'm actually gonna use some of the creamy MCT to lightly coat it. I'll do that with my fingers. I think this recipe is great to be paired with an evening where you invite your friends over and you get to show off your keto skills. I think it's it's like the perfect recipe, but it's filled with all of these fat burning ingredients, which is just like incredible when you think about it. You're giving your body fuel from this recipe in a way that you never could imagine bread could do for you. You could use an incredible olive tapenade. We actually have recipes in the descriptions for different videos that we have. The options are endless. So you're literally feeding yourself the almonds, the coconut, the rosemary, the olives, all of these super keto-friendly ingredients. And then you have surprise ingredients in there, like the MCTs that just take it to a whole nother level. Now that the oven's preheated, we're gonna put it right in. Et voila. I would recommend pairing this bread with a whole slather of grass-fed butter. You know that eating keto doesn't have to be boring. You're gonna have fun, you're gonna get creative, and this recipe will do all of that. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out our other recipes. And bon appetit.